Hi everybody! Welcome to Tiny Tip Tuesday. And as I said earlier, today's tiny tip is not going to be so tiny. Um, okay, so there are a couple of things I'm going to clear up and I will make some posts to have them post either later tonight or tomorrow. But um, I've had a couple people ask me about waiting to place their new catalog order for Thursday's party night. You can do that, that's fine. But um, one of the posts that I think it was out on Monday, it was kind of lengthy, so maybe you didn't go through it. It did say that for everyone who places a minimum of a $30 order prior to the party at 6.30 Eastern time on Thursday, and of course, anything over $30, will receive a um, the make-along kit for the next make-along, which will be on May 20th at 6.30 p.m. So, um, and so here's what you're going to need. I'll post this too so you guys know. Um, but what you will get <clears throat> with a minimum $30 order is everything you see here these pieces, not, not this, um, so that you can do the make along with me. And this time the make along I've got, um, I'm going to do one version, but I'm going to show you, um, the other two. So there'll be three ways to do this, um, really fun, simple card. Um, but I've been thinking about that and yes, I'm still offering that opportunity, but there, um, there is a, a card there are two card kits that I'm going to be showing on Thursday night, and I don't want to, um, I don't want you to feel like, oh shoot, now I have to put in two orders. So, if you order before Thursday, awesome, I will put you into a special drawing um, because I have to do something. But anybody who orders by Thursday's party and into Thursday's party, will receive, um, you know what, let's just go through Saturday because I'm closing out the um, the party goodies on Saturday. Um, you will receive all those papers for that make-along. So you can watch and make that make-along with me on Thursday, May 20th. Okay. Um, was there something else? Why do I think there was something else? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but if I think of it, I will let you know. Um, also, um, I am going to do a drawing. Today's winner is going to get the retired gold glitter enamel dots and these um, gold um, adhesive back sequins. I'm putting them together. That was for anybody who commented by five o'clock on my um, last live at like 12 30 one o'clock something like that there were only three of you so your odds are really good so the winner is i'm trying not to look i got one i think i've got one okay the winner is nancy bankert from pennsylvania woohoo congratulations nancy um i will be getting this out to you right away um i am going to keep this with it just until after the video so i can remember to um put this in an envelope for you but then remember the last time i was saying i don't know how i'm going to do the shares because i always ask you guys to share my videos including this one so remember to comment if you share this video what i decided to do was everybody who has shared this week has this orange line that i've ran across the top of the shares and the the three people who did this share tonight i wrote their names in red pen so, and the reason is, um, I want to throw everybody into my party box, which is in here. So everybody is in here from the last time I did stuff. And now the three girls and Nancy, you'll go in there too for uh, a big drawing, um, later on that also, but I didn't want to not include people. So, um, and then I can, and then I can pull these back out for the regular month. So everybody who has the orange line will still get into the drawing for the regular month share gift. I hope that makes sense. So you have the opportunity to win a couple of times like Nancy and um, I'm trying to remember who won. Mary won um, yesterday. 
they're going to be in this box. They could win again. And um, Nancy, because she shared, she is going to um, be in again um, when I do the drawing in June for all of the May shares. And remember, your name goes in there every time you share. So Nancy can be in there several times. Anyway, um, I just wanted to make sure I did that drawing. So congratulations, Nancy Banker. Yay, from Pennsylvania. Okay, so now um, I am going to show you guys how to do the spiral die. I'm going to show you the quick and easy version. And then I will show you a technique version with it also. Okay, so we're going to start. I'm going to turn this this way just so that it stays in your view. And um, I've done I've done a couple of samples and I'm showing you guys these because these were my I didn't love them. Doesn't mean I won't make something out of them, but I just thought, eh, I'm not so sure. Um, this one's not too bad. That's not too bad. Um, but then this one to me gave me like a headache. It looks so seriously blurry, right? It's three colors, but like it's like do 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 do. It's like vertigo without it moving. And then here's the other side where I tried it um, also. So don't be afraid to experiment with this. Now, one of the things that I did prior to this while I was preparing, I inked this up in one color and I stamped it. You know how you ink it up and then you just um, stamp it. Ignore that. That was from something else. And then what I did was I laid my cardstock on here because you can't, because this is so big, you can't put a magnet down. So I made lines so that I could remember to line it up with the with the correct corners. So here is what I'm going to do. I am going to, oh, I forgot to clean my, well, that's okay. I'll just use it dirty. Let me grab it. <laughs> I forgot to clean my, uh, my Simply Chamois. So we're going to fake it. Okay, so um, I'm going to start with, I normally would start with the light color, but I want you to really, well, I still will. Um, I want you to be able to see the difference. So this is a new in color. It's called Pale Papaya. And um, you can see I have the stamp case underneath here. That helps it to um, be sturdy while you're inking it up. And then I'm going to set this on here and grab my handy dandy awesome um, dry erase eraser and press really hard. This actually works a little better for me because I, I have um, something going on in my shoulder. I don't know what it is. Age probably. And um, so I'm going to ink that up. Get that out of the way. And then there you can see, um, and it's, I'm okay with it not being all like perfectly perfect in color. Um, maybe I'll press a little bit more right there, but I'm not that like too panicked about it. Then you want to clean your stamp. Hi, Susan. Hi, Pam. Thanks for sharing, Pam. I will add you to the next batch. Okay, so we're going to color that. Then the trick is, and I believe it says this in the catalog, you turn this 180 degrees. So I completely turned it around, putting it back where the squares are. Now I'm grabbing the granny apple green. Doing the same thing, inking it up. And I do, I do prefer to use spots when I ink. You can see this isn't even... But um, because this is such a big stamp, it's really easier to use the big, your regular size ink pads. Otherwise, you know, I like to use my spots. All right, pressing it again. And then... Voila, so, so far you've got a pretty decent swirly. Probably shouldn't call it a swirly. Then I am going to, I have heard people do it where they turn it um, 90 degrees. I am going to turn it just like a fraction. I, it's like I always have to think about this because I am going to trim this down, but 
I want it to um, I want it to have a third color. And if I did it if I did it 90 degrees, it it wouldn't um, it'd be too small of a piece because I want it when I trim it down I want it to be four by um, actually it's a little smaller than that but um, you'll see. I can't I can't do two things at once. I'm telling you I am definitely one of those girls who cannot walk and chew gum at the same time. Although I always try. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to use Polish Pink, which is another in color, new in color. It's so pretty. And I'm just going to ink that up really good. And, and this is where I cross my fingers because I never know if I put this quite right. I mean, that looks totally fine. I could leave that. But I want this third color in there. So let's just see what happens. If it turns out horrible, well, it's double-sided. I can always flip it over and do something else, right? Okay, oh, that's not bad. It's a little, um, it's a little out there. I don't know that I love it, but, but anyway, you get the idea, and you get multiple colors. So yeah, I don't, I don't love this one, but. Anyway, you just keep playing with it. And if you did the 90 degrees, um, it would probably fill in some of these white spots a little bit better, but I didn't want to make it that small. So um, your best way to do it is to just do it the 180 and have two colors. Okay, so, all right, now we're gonna go with the technique. This is so cool. Um, so I'm going to clean this again. Look at how disgusting this thing is. And it gets all over my fingers too. Cause I forgot to go wash it. I have more pieces, but they're dry. So, okay. Now here's what I did. I actually put this in a plastic bag. So I'm hoping it's not dried out. I don't think I would leave it in here very long, but this is just um, baby wipes. So I put, I put three layers of baby wipes onto the other um, mat, the other hinge plate. And then, it's still pretty wet, I think I should be okay. And then I just took um, some reinkers, and it's in the exact same colors, pale papaya, and I'm just gonna, and yes, it looks horrible. And this has been sitting for a few hours, so I'm a little concerned about how it might come out. But I have a completed one that I can show you just in case. Okay, so I'm just throwing some more color on there. I don't really need to. Now, here's where um, I found this to work best for me. I did it first. I set it in here and inked it, but I found that that didn't really do what I wanted it to. So I actually set it on the end of the table because it's got the hinge um, pieces. So um, I did this, okay, and set it on there. Also, before I forget, I'm using our um, shimmery white. You can use shimmery white. It's got a very pale shimmer to it. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, you can see it in person though. And um, it's cut the same size, which is a little big. It is cut um, five and a half, I think by four and, a, four and a quarter. Yeah, it's a quarter sheet of cardstock. So I am going to, um, this one I'm only gonna turn twice, just so you know. I'm gonna do the same thing. Set it in those corners. I'm inking it up really good. I'm actually gonna use this and I hope it's not mud. Like I said, it's been sitting all day. Okay. This to me looks like a true tie dye when it gets finished. Okay. I want to get a little bit more color on there because it has been sitting and I think some of it has soaked into um, into the diaper wipes. And I did get unscented because I want to, you know, just keep it nice. And there's no, um, there's no lotion or anything in it either. Okay. It's not perfect, but it's okay. It's going to work for what I want to show you guys. So... Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean it again. Because I'm going to turn it 
and I'm probably not going to lay it just the same right way as I um, I did the last time. So now I'm going to turn it to 180 degrees. I'm going to see if this will work. Since this is on the on the plate there, let's see if I can flip this without making a mess. No guarantees in life. Okay, that kind of worked, right? Normally you press the stamp into the ink, but hey, I'm all for trying stuff. So obviously this does use up a lot of reinker, but um, you can do it on a smaller scale. There we go. This one is not as pretty as my original because uh, everything got kind of muddy, but I still think it's pretty cool. So let me show you the finished one, which I have already cut down. So let me move this out of the way. Okay, so here is the finished one which I um, have trimmed down. And then there's a couple of things I want to show you. So I trimmed it down and I had these extra pieces that I cut off and I put a couple of them in here on some Whisper White just to make the inside of the card really pretty. And then I wanted some punches because if you look at this, can you see that? I actually took the stamp and inked it into that um, baby wipe mess. And um, so that that came out that way too. Um, so a couple of things, that's a fun way to do it. Then this punch, it is this punch right here. It's called the Label Me Fancy Punch. And what I did was for the one, for the words in Whisper White, I punched it out and then I trimmed it I don't, you know, it's hard for me to see what you guys can see, but um, I trimmed off this piece. Okay, so this pink is exactly the same size. It's it's the same size as the You Are Amazing, but I cut off on the white. I cut off this. Then I matted it on the polished pink. And then these pieces I cut this way um, with the pale papaya and, and did that. And then... This is Granny Apple Green, which is the third color. I punched two of those. And if you look, I punched two, like one lengthwise. And then this, excuse me, actually one needs to flip over. I flipped them, but I did it so that I, um, I didn't cut it like right in the center. I cut it a little off so I would get this little nubby and that little nubby when I cut. Okay. So that they could be on there. So I thought that looked kind of tie dye ish -y too. So let me finish um, putting this card together for you guys so you can see it completed. Oh, see, look, this was when I um, first did it. I didn't have enough ink in my diaper wipes. So my diaper wasn't full. That's a horrible thought, right? That's gross. <laughs> Sorry about that, ladies. And any gentleman that might be watching too. So um, that that um, that technique for putting reinkers on baby wipes works, you know, obviously with pretty much anything, and you don't have to do it in um, in the pattern that I did. You can do it in a whole different kind of ways. So so I did this so that it looked like it was swirling out, and then I'm going to put this up on Stampin' Dimensionals. I thought about adding ribbon. But honestly, this card is pretty loud. And I thought if I add ribbon to this, it's just going to be a little bit crazy. So I chose not to. And then you don't want to stick it. Whoops. You can stick it in the center if you wanted to. I mean, that's, that's kind of okay. But I'm going to stick it off to the side like that. I have mixed feelings about that now. I don't know. What do you guys think? Off to the side or in the center? 
Let me know. I'm not going to press this down until I see what you guys think. Off to the side, into the center. I could even do it this way. So landscape centered, portrait centered, or down in the corner. What do you guys think? I've got some more stuff to show you, so um, let me know what you're thinking about that. So while you're typing that, because there is a delay, I want to show you, here is one that I did with those same colors, and it is behind here. And this, I used three rows of our awesome silver net ribbon that actually carried over from the fall catalog. It was actually in a Halloween set. So side, side, okay, side. Looks like side's a winner so far. Okay, so I just wanted you guys to see that. Isn't that fun how it was just covered with that ribbon? So it was very simple to do that. Portrait center, okay. Portrait center, side, side. Okay, I've mixed, I've mixed so far. So, all right, so, so far side is winning. Um, I haven't decided exactly what I'll do yet. Maybe I'll watch and see if anyone else comments. So um, don't forget to share this video so you can be in the drawing, not only for this week's drawing, but also for um, the drawing that I'll do at the beginning of June for all of the May shares. Um, and remember to, if you're not following me on Facebook and you're watching me live, make sure you go and follow me now. If you're seeing this in a shared video, just go to facebook.com forward slash memory inkers to follow me. Um, don't forget the new catalog is live. You can go to memoryinkers.com and you can use this hostess code PG6GXRYJ. Um, that's just so much to say all the time. <laughs> so remember, this is party week. So there'll be more videos to come. Um, another one for sure tomorrow evening. Um, stuff throughout the day, more drawings. There's going to be a drawing every single day, a few drawings. Um, those of you who signed up for the bingo, we will be doing that on Thursday. This is the free bingo that I gave away. Um, it's closed now, so nobody else can sign up. But um, make sure you're at the party live tomorrow or Thursday, 6.30 Eastern time for when we're playing bingo. You have to be here live in order to win the prizes because that's how bingo works, right? So, um, and I'm, I'm, I'm getting a lot of, I don't knows about like the regular bingo for those of you that were in the newsletter and saw it. So, um, it's new to me. So we'll see how it goes. But anyway, um, have a lovely evening, everybody. I am looking forward to sharing more with you tomorrow. Uh, God bless you and have a wonderful evening. Bye.